Good morning, DMA. Good morning, Good morning, sir. Good morning DMA board members, Senator Coons, Senator Poor, General Davila, staff, parents, and cadets. Thank you for joining us. Before I begin, let me again wish this staff and faculty happy Teacher Appreciation Week. Finest staff assembled in the state of Delaware. Let's give them a round of applause. This morning we are gathered to honor and recognize the cadets who have made the decision to serve our great country. Whether you are direct enlistee or academy bound, you have all made the commitment to serve your country and belong to a lifelong fraternity, a brotherhood that is honorable, noble, and brave. Please, guys, have a seat. Sorry about that. I want to briefly discuss the importance of service to country. As we grow up, we could become more aware of the world around us and the issues that our communities and nations face. We see injustices, inequalities, and problems that need to be addressed. It's easy to feel overwhelmed and wonder, what can we do to make a difference? First and foremost, when we serve our country, we are showing our patriotism and love for our nation. Our country is more than just a physical place. It's a set of values, beliefs, and principles that we hold dear. Serving our country is a way to give back to the place that has given us so much. It is a way to show that we are invested in the well-being of our communities and our fellow citizens. But why should we bother? Why should we make this commitment to serve our country? First of all, serving our country helps us grow as individuals. It teaches us about responsibility, teamwork, and leadership. It helps us develop skills and gain experiences that will serve us well throughout our lives. Secondly, serving our country is an act of patriotism. It shows that we care about our country and want to make it a better place. It demonstrates our willingness to work towards a common goal despite our differences. And it sets an example for others to follow. Finally, serving our country is a way to make a positive impact in the world. It allows us to, it allows us to contribute to causes that are important to us and help those who are less fortunate. It gives us a sense of purpose and fulfillment knowing that we are making a difference in the world. So I encourage all of you to make a commitment to serve our country. It doesn't matter what form that service takes, as long as it's something that you believe in and are passionate about. You are the future of this country, and you have the power to make a difference. Use that power to serve your country and create a better world for yourself and for future generations. At this time, I'd like to welcome to the podium a dear friend of DMA, and our United States Senator, Christopher Coons. Thank you. Thank you so much, Commandant Palella. Thank you to the faculty and staff that make Delaware Military Academy such an outstanding institution. And thank you to the parents, the parents who have supported you, encouraged you, everyone today who signs on the dotted line, Every one of you who is having a successful experience here as part of Seahawk Nation owes that in no small part to your families, to the faculty, and to the staff. So let's give them a round of applause, if we might, before we proceed. <laughs> Commandant, thank you for your example, for your own service to our nation, and for the way that you continue to lead this important organization with character and with honor. It is inspiring to me as someone who today returns to the United States Congress to continue representing you. To see all of you here today arrayed, looking so disciplined, determined, organized, educated, skilled, motivated, I will tell you as a parent, I can only imagine the pride of the parents who sit behind me. To those who are today <laughs> signing, who are moving forward, whether to the U.S. Coast Guard Academy, the U.S. Naval Academy, the United States Navy, or the Delaware National Guard. Bravo Zulus, well done. Thank you. Thank you for stepping forward and signing on the dotted line up to and including a willingness to serve and sacrifice at the highest level to our nation. You are what we need in this country. We need young men and women of character willing to step forward and serve. I've had the honor of being a part of enlistment ceremonies in different places in our state and around the world. And I will tell you, I will never forget standing with Senator John McCain on the tail fan of the USS John McCain in Cameron Bay as a group of enlisted 
and officers of the United States Navy renewed their enlistments, extended their tours of duty. The inspiration I felt that day of seeing those men and women stepping across the line and continuing their service to our nation will never leave me. Know that those of you who today take on this noble calling join an incredible legacy and history of service, literally back to the fight that founded our nation. As the Commandant said, and as I agree, we are a nation not of ethnicities, identities, or geography. We are a nation built on an idea, on principles, on a core set of values. Thank you for being willing to serve, sacrifice, and defend those very values that make us American. Thank you, and God bless you. begin by recognizing our 2023 Federal Service Academy appointees. The United States Service Academies are federal, federal academies for the undergraduate education and training of commissioned officers for the United States Armed Forces. The admissions process ex is extremely competitive. These cadets have de each demonstrated unwavering determination, a total commitment to excellence, and an uncompromising work ethic, and it paid off. <coughs> Cadets McNamara and Puka, please come forward. Commandant Pulala and the entire DMA staff congratulate Cadet Giada McNamara and Cadet Maria Puka on their appointment to the United States Naval Academy, Class of 2027. This fully paid appointment is worth more than $350,000. They're receiving a certificate of recognition. This certificate is proudly presented to Maria Puka and Giada McNamara in honor of their appointment to the United States Naval Academy Class of 2027. Congratulations, Giada and Maria. Staff congratulate Cadet Danny Williams and Cadet Jackson Dorsey on their appointment to the United States Coast Guard Academy Class of 2027. This is a fully paid appointment which is worth more than $280,000. They are also receiving a certificate of recognition. This certificate is proudly presented to Jackson Dorsey and Daniel Williams in honor of their appointment to the United States Coast Guard Academy Class of 2027. Congratulations Danny and Jackson. recognize our DMA cadets who will be entering one of the branches of armed forces. All those enlisting in the United States Armed Forces, whether a soldier, sailor, airman, marine, or coast guardsman, they take an oath of enlistment required by federal statute to defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Cadets, we congratulate and salute each of you on your decision to serve this great nation of ours. Cadets, Matthew Avery, Andrew Burrell, Adrian Esterling, Kenneth Gerald, John Macro, Eric Malcrum, Luca Tudorici, Serenity Wagner. Please come forward. They receive a certificate of recognition which certifies that they are proudly presented in honor of their enlistment to the one of the United States service uh, military services. They recognize our Cadet Matthew Avery, Delaware Air National Guard, Cadet Andrew Burrow, United States Navy, 
Cadet Adrian Esterly, United States Navy. Cadet Kenneth Carroll, Delaware, National Guard. Cadet John Mackerel, United States Navy. Cadet Eric Fulton, United States Navy. Cadet Luca Tudorici, United States Navy SEAL. Cadet Serenity Wagner, Delaware, National Guard. Congratulations, and we certainly wish each of you every success in your future plans. Senior Naval Science Instructor, Delaware Military Academy 2, Cadet Commander Valerie Robles. Subject, Assumption of Command. Effective 09 May 2023. You will assume command as the Regimental Commanding Officer of Delaware Military Academy's NJ ROTC Unit. Signed, Mass Chief King, Senior Naval Science Instructor, Delaware Military Academy. Command Mass Chief, front and center. The incoming Cadet Command Mass Chief, Cadet Mass Chief Petty Officer, Emma Finch. We now retrieve the regimental guide on from the regimental commander and return to her position.
stuff. Hope. left. 